game of friends how are we all going today hey what's peak got in store for you today well what i'm talking about today guys is i've got a plasma cutter machine here with a built-in compressor and i've got a plasma cutter machine here with a normal compressor so what i'm going to do is i'm going to compare the both and then you guys can decide which one is best suited for your needs whether you need one with a compressor or one without a compressor Righty, yeah, my friends, this is my compressor that I normally run all my plasma cutters on. As you can see, it's just a basic compressor. It's three horsepower, and I normally run it at about 100 psi coming out of the tank, guys. Now, a compressor this size normally gives me a cut of about maybe 30 seconds, 35 seconds, depending how thick I'm cutting. If I'm cutting really thin metal, then it'll last a lot longer, but if I'm cutting like 10 millimeter plate, then I'm only going to get about 30, 35 seconds out of one tank full of air. Now occasionally guys, I've actually run my plasma cutters on a little compressor like this, but only if I'm cutting a really, really thin plate, and even on thin plate, I might only get 20, 25 seconds out of a little compressor this size. So my friends, let's see how the plasma cutter with the built-in compressor can compare with that. So guys, for this little experiment, I'm going to be using the Best Arc 7th generation machine. And for our plasma cutter with the built-in compressor, I'm going to be using the GetStar 40 amp machine. Once again, guys, these machines are quite comparable. This is a 50 amp machine, this is a 40 amp machine, but I can dial this down from 50 amps here and go right down to, to 25, 15 amps if I want to. So if I set them both at 40 amps, we should have a fair test, shouldn't we, guys? And also what I want to do, guys, is I'm going to use the same plasma torch on both machines, because as you can see, they have a little bit different torch. So the best dark seventh generation machine here runs the uh, AG60P torch. And the Get Start machine with the built-in air compressor runs a P60 torch as well, but it, but they're both manufactured just a little bit differently, and maybe this torch is designed for a lower air pressure, I don't know. So what we'll do to make it fair is we'll use the same torch on both machines. So what we'll do is we'll start with 5 mil plate, which is quite thick really. If you're building trailers and that sort of stuff, you probably don't want to go any thicker than 5 mil. 3 mil, 4 mil, 5 mil. That's like metal that you can actually construct something with, you can build something with. So I've picked this as like a middle of the road cut. Right here, my friends, so let's start. I'm gonna kick this one in the guts. We're running at 50 amps here, can you see guys? So to make it fair, we'll turn it down to 40 amps, the same as the other machine. 40 amps like so. I've got my compressor hooked up to it. As you can see there, we're running at 56 PSI and we're running at 240 volt. Let's start it up, see what happens. Now my compressor tank is full of air, so if we start cutting, we'll see how long we can cut before the compressor cuts in. And that'll give us an idea of how long it's gonna cut with the big compressor. Let's do it, yeah! Rightio, my friends, the compressor started again, so we didn't actually cut very far at all. We only got like two inches. So we'll be lucky if that's two inches guys. So let's cut that off and then we can keep it as a comparison. Yeah! So here we are guys, that's how much we cut. We'll be lucky, what are we? We're about seven and a half centimeters there so watch that it's two maybe two and a half three inches before the compressor started again so that's how much air these things take they take a lot of air to run that's why you need like a big compressor plus a couple of big huge holding tanks just so you got a, a decent amount of time before the compressor cuts in and cuts out so guys let's turn this one off we've already got this one turned on here we've got the original torch i'll swap them over in a minute and we'll see if it makes any difference because like i said to you before maybe this torch is designed to run on less air than this torch right so we've got this one set up we've got that turned off we've got my compressor turned off so we've got no air coming into this machine here at all we're running at the maximum of 40 amps and we're running at 2.5 bar so let's see if it'll cut once again my friends we will just carry on with this cut on the five mil steel let's do it oh, better put my earth lead on first pete
noticed something already guys I've gone past the distance so well I'm level with it there I almost lied to you we're right there is where I cut before and the compressor cut in and I'm still cutting so let's carry on guys see how long I can actually cut before the fuses actually clip this machine out Machine stop. We didn't trip out any breakers or anything, which is another important factor to remember, guys. If you're only running, I'm running on like 15, 16 amp breakers, and these things here, they suck a lot of juice. These ones as well. So you just got to be not only careful about running your air compressor, but you've also got to have enough power to run your plasma cutter at the same time. Now, if you're running your plasma cutter and then your air compressor all of a sudden clicks on, chances are you're going to blow your fuses. Well, that's what happens to be in my garage anyway. So, my friends, this is the cut using the compressor the standard this is the cut using the machine with the built-in compressor now this is one two three four times longer cut and this machine here had no sign of stopping so there you go my friends these machines sure do have their uses especially if you're taking it outdoors and you're working out on the ranch or on your farm or you're underneath a vehicle and you're plasma cutting something else or you're fixing some rust or something and you don't want to have to drag airlines all over the place a machine like this it's all compact mind you this thing is bloody heavy it weighs about i reckon it weighs about 20 kilos is all in one so all you have to do is just plug it into the wall and away you go all right guys so like i promised you what's going to happen if i take this torch out of this machine and put the torch from the built-in compressor machine do you think it'll make any difference let's have a go Wonder if it'll use less air. These are all standard fittings, guys. You can swap them from one machine to another. That's why I like these Chinese machines because nine times out of 10, they're all interchangeable, which is pretty cool for Pete. So there we go. We'll leave the same earth and it's not gonna make any difference. Take the pilot arc wire out of this one, guys. Like so. Take the switch off, like so. And we'll take the main lead out. Right, so if we put the other torch in, you think it'll make any difference? I actually don't know myself, guys, whether these torches are designed to run on less air. So anyway, let's find out once and for all. All that out wire goes up there. It's like so, guys. So this torch is now live with this machine using the same earth lead. What I'll do, guys, is just turn the compressor back on. And we'll just wait for that charge it up. Right, that air receiver tank is now full, so we know we're starting from scratch again. If we turn this thing on here, here we go, running at 41 amps at 54 PSI, which is about what we need. Righty, Odie, let's get into it, eh? Different torch, how far can we cut this time, guys? Here we go. Did you notice that there, guys? The compressor went to start and then it just blew the fuses because it can't handle the load of this machine plus the compressor running at once. So I'll go and turn that back on, guys. So if we cut this off here, we'll be able to measure it. Yeah. Rightio, so this is the length we got with the torch from the other machine. This is how long we got with that same torch, but on the machine with its own compressor. Look at that, guys. Almost exactly the same. So what does that tell us? I reckon that tells us that if you buy a machine with a built-in air compressor, they've redesigned the torches to run on less air. That's what I think, anyway. So guys, let's turn this racket off. Well, I hope that was a fair comparison, guys. I've, um, I've sort of thought that way for a while. I don't know how you can get as much air they get out of these little things here compared to a big, huge compressor like that. So there must be some other way that they're regulating the air. And I reckon it's in the torches that they give you with these machines. I reckon this uses less air, 
than what a normal torch on a normal plasma cutter will. Anyway guys, same as usual, you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below, and uh, we'll see you next time, mate. Oh, if you want to see where I live, I've actually got another YouTube channel going. It's a little travel channel about New Zealand. I'll stick a link up there and you can have a look at that. Anyway, guys, see you next time. Bye. Peachtools.com.com.com.